the place where again i think embodied cognition and extended cognition it fits it fits right into this because for me the the pain and suffering that occurs in people's lives comes about via relationships that uh hurts and and destroys and so cure or healing must come about via relationship now we can talk about as people of faith the relationship and the healing that comes uh via uh god god's spirit um, the work of Christ in the world, and yes, and yes to all of that, um, and also that it comes to us via the mediated presence of other humans in our lives. The psychotherapeutic moment, for example, or the pastoral counseling moment, or the discipleship moment, these are moments where humans are embodied with one another, and they're extending their lives into one another, um, that when it works well, uh, it could lead to restoration of, 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 of humanization within a person. It can lead to, lead to liberation from oppressive kinds of messages and experiences they've had um, and, and can be really, really a powerful, powerful force. 